Okay, I'm actually really glad a couple people pointed this out. Uh, these divisions are not moving for some reason. They're not going over there. They, they should be deploying like that division. So instead, I'm going to force them to deploy. Is this going to work? Nope. Okay, well, it appears as though the magical thing called Frontline System has appeared to almost break another Hearts of Iron 4 player. Wait, why is it not assigning them at all? What? I'm going to manually actually assign the... Wait, are they on a fallback order? No, there's no order, so why would they have to be ordered to move the... This game sometimes. Alright, let's go back there. Now before our focus is waste too much, let's go ahead and go down to National Defense State, and then we'll be able to get our... Uh, well, actually, we've already got ex uh, ex uh, extensive conscription, and then we'll be able to get women in the workforce to help make our army a bit larger. So thankfully, that's already been taken care of. And as for our planes, they're starting to move to places that they're more needed in terms of the bases to keep the range without going over. Once the war starts, this will probably honestly fix itself, I would hope. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Alright, so we're not going to go to war until actually July because I'm going to buy as much time as I possibly can. Because I want to make sure my divisions get there. They're actually fully entrenched. They've got all their bonuses and everything. Alright? Just to be totally sure that everything is perfectly set up for our situation. 40%. Um, okay, they're already maxed out. And their guns. Let's see. Wait, how bad is their... Oh, oh, wait. I forgot to get logistics companies. Oh, that's bad. Okay, at least it's a level... 7 port. It, <laughs> oh boy. Alright. At least I was able to fix this a little bit beforehand. So, it's not too bad. What's our attrition? Oh, it's only 5%. It's not... Yeah, we're okay. Okay. So, once these guys get done, let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't swap the Marines because our army's not large enough. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's go ahead and send our Navy out, though. Uh, we have four little task forces. They are these guys. Oh, we're going to have to get oil. All right, we'll trade to the uh, Venezuela before we trade to the uh, allies. Oh, we need more. All right, looks like we'll need three fact, three or four, four. Yeah, we need four because we're gonna be at war soon. So, all right, now we'll do spiritual mobilization, and that should help us. Wait, no. Because we need that uh, soft attack bonus. We don't need that. Because yes, when we did this, this took away some of our manpower. Uh, because we're now in total mob, which is 3%. However, when we go to war, for 100 political power, we can take it. Oh, we're in July. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Wish me luck. All right. So now that we're in war, we can take women in the workforce along with escalate the war in China. Which means we're going to get bonuses over time because people don't know this, but once you start out at war, you automatically get a penalty against China, which is pretty severe. So you have to really just wait until you can get the bonuses removed. So we're going to, instead of doing that, we're going to go down army expansion and get supremacy of will to give us more bonuses. And I'm almost willing to bet money the AI is going to start attacking me as soon as I unready. Oh, they're not. Oh, how nice. Great. All right, let's call of all our uh, puppets in and the puppets are attacking so that means they're gonna make them into like veteran units they're gonna fight me great okay uh, now if I remember correctly I believe I can do the decision every three or six months something along those lines I can't remember which one exactly wait has the United Front not formed <laughs> Shangzi deny their united front. That's great. That's awesome. That means I could possibly naval invade here and encircle them. Communist threat. Hopefully we have defeated them. And just for giggles, I kind of want to see... Oh, nope. Here they come. And now they're probably going to attack. No, they didn't join the... Wait, no, Yunnan. Oh, Yunnan. Oh, how could I forget about you? Okay, now we're going to get logistics companies for later. Oh, Guangxi. Oh, okay. 
I'm surprised Shang Zi's not in it though. That's kind of weird to me. Wait, is the AI putting their entire army up there? Most of it. Oh. That means if I Oh, now they join. Never mind. Okay. See, what I was hoping would happen is I could naval invade and uh, trap them between Shanxi and China, which would have been really overpowered because that would have basically entrapped the entire army of uh, the uh, Chinese. Now, let's go ahead and get some other bonuses. We could do this, and I will bump it down to four speed. Or, well, is three too slow? Four? We'll leave it on four. Uh, we'll leave it on four until the war is over. Uh, can we do the escort the war in China? Great. Now, what is our rifles? Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and start building military factories since we have the bonus now. We'll build one civilian factory each, and then we'll start building mills. Army expansion. Army expansion. Wait, why are there two focuses? I just realized. Why is there army expansion law and army expansion? Hmm. It's kind of weird. All right, whatever. No biggie, no biggie. Uh, then let's see. These guys will obviously all become... Well... Let's do this. Let's go ahead and delete this army. Because these are just like our little extra things to help with a naval invasion. Uh, delete those. Delete... Oops, no. Delete that. And these will be our marines. And then these guys we could all swap over to infantry. Now our weapons are just down to 7k. Upgrade our tactical bombers. How's the air war going? Actually, wait, are we winning or losing? Enemy fighters won, our fighters three. Okay, so we're actually kind of losing. But now that we have our upgraded planes. Engineering. Oh, we can do this and get a decryption bonus. Now let's go ahead and swap these guys out. Hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right. And then we'll start breaking down south. Uh, hopefully. I'm not going to start that again. I, I thought about it for a brief moment. I promise I'm not going to start doing that. Hopefully this. Hopefully that thing. I promise. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. And it looks like we're overstacking this airbase still, which is bad. But... The planes that are in range are not able to do anything else otherwise. So we're kind of in a situation where we have to upgrade the airfield, I guess, then. Which really shouldn't be that bad if we were just to put it up top. What, uh, November 2nd? Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll get two levels of it. Uh, escalate the war in China, and I think that just leaves one more penalty left. Yeah, just one more, or, or well, one or two more. I think it's just the one more, and then after we do that, we're going to have no debuffs against China. And we can start breaking through with ease because now we're bit yeah we're gonna have a 51 percent value because already our attack bonus our uh, preparation plans at 50 percent so we're gonna get that 50 percent bonus when we start to attack them so that'll be awesome do we let's get fortress buster why not because for all we know the ai might start doing stuff with the DACA line later um and I guess we're not going to do anything else right now, and we're just going to wait, because we might have to f uh, force attack, because the Chinese AI is probably going to stack divisions over here, so we might have to do something like that. Alright. Wait, how's our bombing campaign going against their troops? Um, enemy divisions bomb. Let's look at months. Enemy uh, troops bomb zero. Oh, because we haven't been in combat yet. It's just been an air war, which we're losing. Hmm. Well, not now, because we're actually getting better planes, but, uh, aluminum, we need more from Yugo. Steel, our Manchuko puppet is not delivering all of it. I am very disappointed in you. So I guess we'll get the rest of our steel from, oh wait, no, that's just for Navy. We don't need that. <laughs> and rubber, we can get an extra one of those. Awesome. Yeah, and our production for Navy is just kind of steelmating, but not for long, because we're going to win the war. Um, is there any... Oh, wait, did I just see the uh, Escalate? Yes, I did. Awesome. Now, I think that has the penalty gone. Nope. We have one more penalty to get rid of. Then we will have our full attack bonuses, which is going to be great. Aside from this attrition, that's 7%. 
But the good news is we'll be going through them uh, like butter and we'll be able to have more ports available so we can get some more supply in, I think. Or something like that. <laughs> Alright. Do we need... Not really. We don't need those. Um, this is just to increase our special forces attack. That special forces multiplier would be nice, but that mess with our dockyards. We don't want to do any of that yet. We could do war bonds. But I want to keep that so we can get a more soft attack for our division attack here. So. And... Where is it? As soon as we get rid of that penalty, then uh, we're going straight into it. Uh, attack them. What's our rifles at? Awesome. We're almost at a surplus. So we can bump this down. Bump that to five. This here. And great. We might be able to win with just this. Honestly. I mean, if we encircle them quick enough and then uh, these guys get invaded. Or these guys. Oh. Let's go ahead and swap them over to infantry divisions. And we'll just set this theater to a uh, high priority because we're gonna need a lot of rifles for these guys and we'll make these 10 marines and because the marines are already special forces they have large oh wait we can uh, remove one of the battalions on the artillery and add a support company and we have enough awesome wait what's our soft tech now I didn't catch it 155 nice and a 20 width division has 266 defense with other penalties from China. Oh yeah, we should be able to win this. At least before they do army reform. Come on. Where's the thing? Still not up there yet. Oh, there it is. All right, awesome. Now we have no penalties. That is correct. And now we can start pushing. And advance. With force attack. Oh yeah. This is nice. Okay, it's not nice. We're not winning. Are they... Hmm. Why is our attack low? Is it just supply? No experience. Oh, the experience. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this then. Let's go ahead and try to hold them on the front line by attacking with these guys. And this way we can hold them up here and we might be able to break through down here and encircle. And also if we grab these guys and support attack. Booyah. And now we've just bumped it up to 120 combat width so we have more artillery divisions in there that are overrunning them like that awesome you know let's just honestly put them on a uh, these guys attack why are they not attacking I've just got to put them on aggressive it seems because I just want to keep them held up here as long as possible while we're breaking through here because otherwise yeah, they're going to start doing this where we can't break through in time. Because they're being attacked. There we go. And start breaking through. And start breaking through. Wait a minute. Okay, no, I thought I just figured something out. Never mind. Awesome. Now artillery... Nope, that's just infantry. Use you two guys to... to oh! Okay. God, I hate this so much. After the new Windows update, it's double-clicking things. And I don't realize it until after it's already uh, gone through and already moved up to something. And it's just so irritating. It's just driving me absolutely crazy. Alright. And our artillery is able to keep pushing. Extending this front line. Wait. Oh, I did just figure something out. Oh, okay, look. So if you're trying to attack, it won't let you because you're already being attacked. But if you click behind them, it makes you attack them. Oh, that's cool. I think I just figured out next... Wait a minute. No, wait, somebody told me about this. I can't remember their name, but... 
Oh my god, I wish I could remember that person's name. Somebody I remember on a video recently told me about this, and I did not even think about it until just now. Oh, what was it? Oh, I can't remember. To whoever you are, I'm sorry. I am so sorry that I forgot your name. Alright, 70, 70. 70. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to get a upgrade to our artillery. Is that available? Yes, it is. Well, sort of. It's almost available. Wait. How about... Okay. Uh, let's actually get an air doctrine upgrade. Do we... Well, these won't help us, really. Uh, if we were to just go down our engineering... Is there anything? Uh, construction... Oh, let's increase our improved machine tools. And uh, that'll help. And we'll just keep trying to keep these guys here and break through this. And this will cause an encirclement. Come on. Come on. This will be like 40 divisions if this works. Come on. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Break him. Break him. Break him. Get him. Come on. Come on. I think the AI is last standing. Is it? No, nope, it's not last standing. It's just they're not breaking through very well. Come on. Oh. Frontline has expanded quite a bit because of this aggressive attack order. Now, I need to take them off aggressive very soon because if I don't, this is going to really mess me up. But, uh, hopefully... Come on. Oh, these guys might be able to break through too. Come on. Come on. No, you attack there. Oh, our front's getting expanded pretty bad. And I don't want that to happen, but I want us to break through here. Come on. I don't want to keep saying come on, but come on. Force attack. What will be enough for you, you ice queen? Oh, is that enough to help us win? Great, now we can do more combat with... Boom! Oh, that's a nice encirclement, boys and girls. Nice. Alright, now we can take off aggressive, thankfully. And... Oh, these guys weren't even on aggressive. Alright. Now we're going to do is... Delete the front lines... And just try to really quickly fill these pockets in. And we'll just let these guys finish off this encirclement by attacking here. And here. Here. And here. Nice. Awesome. Now for our next thing we're going to get, uh, we're not going to get bicycle battalions. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do the meme. Uh, let's do spiritual mobilization to get a manpower boost. Wait a minute, is there something else I need to do? I just thought about that. Uh, we don't need any of that yet. Not until the Germans go to war. Yeah, we don't need to do any of that naval stuff yet because the main one I want is the battleship, which we can't do until later. So let's just do spiritual mob. And for our thing, let's get ammunition. Actually, let's move these guys to here, and we'll get another upgrade for uh, that, uh, you know, bonus for attacking them, because really that's what the uh, main part of Grand Battle Plan Doctrine is, is the bonuses that you'll get from uh, battle planning. So let's go ahead and actually max these out, because the AI is going to start attacking us here soon. Come on. And I don't want to let them get out. And you know what? That's probably close enough. Force attack. Go. They're not doing it. Alright. Aggressive. Wait. Why would you attack the opposite direction? Oh, this game. Alright. Stop that. Go there. That's where your objective is anyway. So I just wasted the staff planning bonus. Did I just lose one? Ah. He got encircled down here. 
Okay. Well, that ain't good. I attack him from a few extra different zones. What's our... Okay, soft attacks, that's good. Ooh, I can't wait to see how much manpower we just took out. Alright. Also, let's go and start moving up. Get the battle plan bonus when we start attacking. Yeah, that's 44 divisions in there. China has... Okay, so that's going to be like a quarter of his army that we take out, at least. And the AI is trying to last stand. God, I hate it so much when it does that, because then it just starts bugging out like that when the AI starts last standing. Like, it's, it's just so irritating, because you don't have any idea what's happening. And you're just like, what is this? What is going on? Ooh, ooh that's a lot of troops. This is probably going to be the thumbnail. Oh, yes. And now if we attack these guys before they can get in there, that's going to be an overrun to instantly take them out. Come on. Alright. Oh, they've only got a 2% uh, reinforcement rate. So these guys should drop out pretty quick. Yep. Yep, there we go. Alright, what is the casualties in this war so far? China, 302,000. We've lost 71,000 because we were aggressively attacking for a little while. Alright. That's still pretty good. Now let's send these guys over here to the river, and they're going to push through to there. And are these guys supplied? No, they are not. Not yet. And these guys soon will be able to be sent forward and attack. So let's get a bonus here. And our marine template, we're going to bump those just down to uh, five marines for right now. Uh, to keep it even for the combat with and we'll give them support artillery and we'll give all of our frontline units a logistics company How much will this need? That require 59,000 additional manpower Ooh, We have everything else taken care of except for the motorized so we'll add that into production So Not necessarily too bad, but we can still do all right Yes and now, how's our forces? A lot of them are actually maxed out. Let's go ahead and start attacking then. Nice. And then we'll be able to break through here and do a lot of damage. And let the Phil Swift memes roll. Alright. see, who has the most attack? This guy? Alright. These guys will be in their own army group with a... Shinuru, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that correctly. These guys are going to need defensive traits, so you and you. And everyone's going to go to the port of Nagasaki, please no American bombers. And then we're going to go right there and they'll be the ones to attack. Alright, are these guys ready? Yes they are, just about. Start attacking. See, this is why I don't like battle plans or the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Because you order it to do something like attack through here... And it could easily do it, but it won't. It wants to just sit here and support attack with this guy. And once they've broken through here, then they'll start going and actually attempting to attack here. Compared to the, if they would have just started in the beginning, they would have done better. But because no troops moved here, there was no point in actually doing that in the first place. All it did was just waste time by attacking an area beside it. That was it, to weaken it and... I just don't understand it. It makes no sense to me sometimes why battle plan doctrines work that way. All right, let's move this guy down the coast to grab that port. And then this guy, who is not doing anything, will move to that one there and get that port. Yes, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. And once you get there, you'll support attack. All right, now let's do the... Coliquification... Nah, let's get the extra research. I, I'm going to be honest, I totally forgot about getting that earlier. And then let's get another army offensive leader. And is there anything else we can do? Ooh, Ichigo. Ooh, wait a minute. That gives the America 
10% war support. And we're already breaking through when we use our artillery division. So there's really not a point to do Ichigo. But that's an extra 20%. Well, let me see what America's at right now. Are they, oh, that will bump them up enough so they could do... And the AI is already doing fair labor standards. So that means it's going to... You know what? Because I'll take out China so much earlier, it's worth it, I think. I hate to agree. Like, not agree, but I hate to say that. But it would be a lot worth it because I would take China out so much faster. And this is until the war is over. So, yeah. Look at this. Wait, what? what's my attack against them? Oh, the extra 20% regardless. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. Oh, I messed it up. Now they're going to get the port. Well, not if I move here quick enough. Nope. Will he move in there in time to block the Chinese from getting a port with a level 1 fort? Oh, no, they're not. But it doesn't matter because they were still defeated. Great. And the Chinese in Qingdao have been defeated. Now, let's break through to Nanjing and set up our naval invasion with our marines that are incredibly under-equipped and this might be a horrific idea and might cost a lot of divisions, but who knows? It might work. It might not. Let's find out. And six. Come on. Eight. And finally... 10. Boom! Alright, and in two weeks, we launch our naval invasion against China. And that's right, I said China. Let the memes roll! Alright. We have unassigned a bit. Oh. Thanks, Minchuko, but I'm alright. So. Oh, we're breaking through up here. Nice! Do I hear arrows? It sounds like I hear arrows. Hmm. I, I don't know. Um, alright. When our guys get trained... Well, you know, we'll go ahead and actually start breaking through as soon as that naval invasion launches. Because as soon as the naval invasion starts, I'm sure they have troops on the coast. That'll pull a lot of them away. Yeah, they're already <laughs> winning. So, let's go ahead and just start attacking then. Because, I mean, there's really no reason to keep them there because they're going to lose their planning anyway once they actually break through. So, it'd be pointless to not do anything. And actually, because we're going to need to fill this line up, let's go ahead and uh, throw 24 more divisions in here. And let's see, is this guy going to... Nope, I have to manually order it. Okay, that's fine. I'm going so fast, I might not be able to do my naval invasion. Oh, there we go. Come on, naval invade. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is a fun time. Not more. This is going. To, this is going really great compared to my Germany World Conquest run recently, which I'm sure a lot of you know about. Um, the the artillery divisions actually beat the infantry divisions from getting there in terms of speed. That's hilarious. And it was undefended. Awesome. So now we can put this guy with him. Well, actually, we'll save him up and use him as another group. And we'll start trying to break through there really quickly. And actually, let's assign him under the general right now to get them all going aggressive. And there we go. Why were they not attacking there? That, that could encircle these guys. Come on, man. Stupid AI. And, yeah, that's a nice little pocket. Let's finish this up really quick. And then we'll take Nanying, or whatever the capital is called. Wait, am I getting over the river penalty again? Because if I am, I hate that. Ah, oh, I yeah. am. Great. All right, let's use them from here. Because that guy shouldn't be getting... Wait. Is he getting it too? 66 con? No, he's in reserve. Oh, of course he's in reserve. 
Ah, all right. Let's go ahead and start researching our... We don't need any of that. Air Doctrine, let's start doing Operational Integrity. Land Doctrine, that's fine. Artillery Upgrade? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And landing! Huzzah! All right. Now that we have a pretty good far reach into the coast of China, I think that's where I'm going to end it for our part two of our uh, Japan Conquest series. We haven't really pushed far in Shangzi, but as for the losses, because someone wanted me to do this every episode, the losses for China right now, they've lost 400,000. And against China, we've lost 131,000, but Shangzi, we've lost uh, 43,000. And that's probably exclusively because we're attacking in the mountains and the AI loves doing that. So I'm probably going to fix this front line before we keep going. So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you guys will come back for part three and see our conquest. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome.